the, it's fast flowing water. There are rapids. Can you say there that? There are rapids. They are. They are rapids. I don't know, but it's fast, now fast flowing me. water. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I didn't know we were gonna do the arm <laughs> race. There it is. <laughs> this video, uh, we wanted to cover a question that we get a lot. Ooh, the light just went dark for story time. I don't like it. I wanted to stay like. Oh, should we wait for the sun to come back? Yeah. Did it come back? Okay, because we're using natural light right now and the sun keeps going in and out, we're gonna put in auto balance so that the video balances the light itself and so we don't get dark and light. The question that we hear a lot is about uh, water and um, like my relationship with water after mm -hmm. having nearly drowned and died in water. I grew up swimming. You can see in this little picture of me with my my trophy <laughs> holding it up. You know, I, I used to be a little fish. I'm pretty sure I was swimming before I was even walking. Probably. Um, cause my parents really wanted me to be a swimmer, I guess. And, uh, so I, I did competitive swimming. Mm -hmm. I think I might even have a record in, in Virginia for like eighth grade boys breaststroke 25 meters or something really? like that. And someone probably has beaten it by now. <laughs> but anyway, I love water and we grew up at the river. Uh, my grandparents had a river house and we grew up doing all sorts of stuff, tubing, wakeboarding, jumping off the dock. Mm -hmm. It was... Like that was our, our favorite vacation spot. It still is. I still love going out to the river. So that's why I was so comfortable with going to the rocks where I got hurt mm -hmm. because th those waters are kind of like, it's rapids. Is that grammatically correct? I don't know, but I, I, it always comes out that way for some reason. It is. And every time Cole gives a speech, he goes, and at the James River, it's, it's rapids. The, it's fast flowing water there are rapids can you say there that? there are rapid they are they are rap i don't know but it's fast now fast flowing me. water <laughs> who knows my mom uh when she i was supposed to go to work with her the day i went to the river with my friends she was like cole are you ready and i was like oh wait, I i'm gonna go to the river with my friends is that all right and she was like where and i was like the rocks and she was like don't don't a lot of people get hurt down there and i was like mom come on, like, I'm a great swimmer. It's not gonna be a problem. She was like, okay. Of course, she ended up being right because it doesn't matter how good you, a swimmer you are when you dive in and break your neck mm -hmm. um, because I wasn't able to use my arms and legs that were very good at swimming to do any swimming. Yep. So if it wasn't for my friend, I would have just been swept away. That was pretty sucky because I'd never had a, an experience like that in water. Up until that point, water was a safe place for me. You know, it was a comfortable place. Mm -hmm. It made me feel like betrayed by the water in a way when really it was my fault. It had nothing to do with the water. And the first time I got in water again after my injury was, it did not go as I expected it to go. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal because like I said, I'm just so used to the water. We got into the pool at the Shepherd Center where I rehabbed and it was during like the regular hours. So there were a lot of other people in the pool. You know how a pool can get choppy when people are swimming laps and kids are splashing and stuff. Like it was, it was not calm level water, but it wasn't like crazy. It was just enough that like it was rocking me around and because I couldn't swim on my own and someone was having to help me and I was feeling the water splash against my face, I actually started crying. Like I had a little breakdown in the pool and I did not expect that at all. Pretty sure my mom jumped into the pool with all of her clothes on and came over and like <laughs> cradled me. It's okay, it's okay, you're all right. <laughs> uh, but I was super scared for whatever reason. And for whatever reason, well, you, <laughs> there is a reason you almost yeah. drowned in water. That's very triggering, especially for the first time after an accident where you almost drowned. Yeah, well, that makes sense. So that is a good reason, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to give up on getting in the water. I still wanted to get in the water, kind of face that demon, I guess, and get over it. So what we did was 
we scheduled with my counselor. So like I would go to counseling as part of my therapy regimen. We scheduled a time before the pool opened to the public. So we got up real early and got in the pool when it was dead quiet. The water was super calm mm -hmm. and it was just very peaceful and we were able to talk it out. And that was what I associated water with in my life. This has always been like a calming place for me. So after that, I pretty much got over it and now I, I'll get into a, 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 a wave pool if you want me to. You want to get in a wave pool? You would not get in a <laughs> wave pool. That No. No, I would That die. would be too much for the both of us. <laughs> but we have done a lot of water stuff. Yes. Yes, we have done a lot of water stuff. I'm trying to remember the very first time we got in the water together. Mm. And I believe that was in Kilmarnock. I think you're right. Yeah. That was the very first time we got in the water together. And this experience was really cool and very easy mm -hmm. because where we went, the people had a dock that load into the water for like the jet skis and stuff. So super easy for us to get Cole onto his shower chair, lower him into the water. And then from there, we all can go in the water. I can swim enough to make sure I don't die, but I couldn't like rescue someone. I'm not a great swimmer. Um, and so like here, I was like wearing a life jacket at one point. I think I, I used noodles just because <laughs> I don't know how to just lazy swim or like, what is it? Uh, tread. tread. Tread water. Yeah, I don't know how to tread water very well unless I'm doggy mm. paddling, whatever. <laughs> and so that was our first time together and that was really exciting. And there was one panicky moment. Oh yeah. Remember that? Yes. Cole had, um, Somehow he was he was floating by himself for a long time, but some mm -hmm. something happened. Some wave must have hit him, and he flopped forward, face down into the water. And I couldn't flip him up. Like it was such a weird angle, and he was heavy, and I couldn't flip him up. So he's face down in the water for like a good ten seconds, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness! And so someone comes over and like helps flip him up. We had to like use the two of us just because it was yeah. just a very awkward position. <laughs> well, and you couldn't reach the bottom, which would have made it so much easier. Yes. She couldn't figure out how to get leverage to flip me over. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because I'm underwater and I can hear their voices like <laughs> It sounded like, Charisma, you, you got it? She's like, yeah, I got it. I don't got it, I don't got it. And then I heard like splashing as someone yeah. came over and lifted me up. I felt you pulling me, yeah. but I wasn't going anywhere. It was very hard, but obviously if that situation were to happen again, I would just flip Cole, Cole over and then bring him up that way. Cause I don't think like lifting him up this way was too hard, but I think if I flipped you. you roll. If yeah, I rolled like you, yeah. Barrel rolled me. Yeah, that would've been so much easier. Then you would just yeah. spin on your back which is fine. It was really hard and that was the first time I was like, okay, always have someone in the water when you're with Cole Chris, but because you're mm -hmm. not a great swimmer. The second time we got in the water may have been the pool and the pool at the Four Seasons. That would that was our second time in the water. When else did we get in the water? We've gotten, have we gotten the river together? I don't think I've been in the Mattapanai River water in a decade. We're gonna go this summer. We're gonna make it happen this summer because we're getting that same platform lift thing. Yes. My parents are putting it in. I am so excited for that. Me too. So the second time we ever got in the water together was a year ago when we went to Florida, right before the pandemic hit. It was yeah. our last adventure together. And that was nice because it was the first time we had ever used a pool lift together. Yeah. And so it was really nice having a bunch of people there helping just in case um, we needed a little boost or someone, mm -hmm. you know, extra pair of hands, which we did need. And that was really fun together. I think we, we had a lot of fun underwater and yeah. swimming around. That was that was fun. And you felt more comfortable because she could stand up yeah. and it was much easier to help out in mm -hmm. case I flopped over again. So Cole has done a lot of stuff in the water. He has gone surf surfing so many times in the water. And if, and if I think yeah. anything scares him when it comes to water, it's surfing in the water. Surfing is pretty scary just mm -hmm. because like i know that there are a million volunteers but i just have this like feeling that maybe a wave is going to like push me under and i'm just going to get caught underneath being thrown around that's and happened they're, they're not going to see my body i stick my arm up out of the water yeah. like hey come get me yeah. <laughs> last time you went surfing it was a little scary like you face planted on the board which was that was brutal it was brutal, but very funny to watch back. <laughs> you did get flipped pretty hard. And I remember being behind the camera trying to capture it all, but like so hard, it was so hard being stable when I'm like, oh my gosh, do I need to run up there? And then Quince yelling, get cold. Oh, he was so stressed. He was so stressed the whole time. Hold over. They got it, Quince. That's what they're here for. That's what they do. They're the lifesavers. That's their job. And, and your mom was like, 
Quinn, it's fine. They got him. He's fine. Yeah. Um, but that was that was fun. And then you went water skiing. Yeah. And then we went water skiing, which mm -hmm. was a lot of fun too. A lot smoother of an experience mm -hmm. than I thought it would be. But like they had that down perfectly. The whole process. We just got in the water in Arizona. Yeah. We got in a rooftop pool. So we were gone because we were in Arizona working with um, Arizona Tourism and then Passion Passport doing a big project for them mm -hmm. that we can't share with y'all until like later on this year. And it was just the two of us, which is nice. Mm -hmm. The two of us and a million cameras, so there's that. Um, but it was really nice. Um, I tried to get Cole to float a little bit at one time, so I was kind of letting him go. And he was kind of like slowly gonna, going under, but he was kind of, you were kind of floating. Yeah, I felt like you were like baptizing me or something. Yeah. <laughs> so was, my body was there yes. floating around. Personally, I really enjoy being in the water with Cole because I feel like it's one of those things where we're kind of like on the same like level on the same plane mm -hmm. um, because we're in water together. So it's like we're at the same height and we're doing the same thing together, which is really nice. There's um, no chair in the way. There's no chair. We can really cuddle, be intimate. Mm -hmm. I love being in the water with Cole. It's like one of my favorite activities with him. And like in Arizona, we were only in the water for like 10, 15 minutes because it was kind of cold. If that, maybe five, 10 minutes. Oh, we also got into the hot tub. Oh yeah. Right in Georgia. Yeah, y'all saw so. that one. That was fun. And we had Armando there to help us. Cole can get in the water. Cole, Cole mm -hmm. can enjoy water like everyone else um mm -hmm. just gotta wear a life jacket if it's super deep <laughs> yeah. water is still my best friend mm -hmm. well you're my best friend thank you but water is still one of my good friends we're gonna have some fun water videos coming out this summer i think oh yes I might try to go tubing again in jet skiing I might try jet skiing Woo! we'll see I'm a little yeah. nervous. I'm but... excited for the tubing i think that'll be so fun and we yeah. have a tube that is much easier for Cole to get on, not like one of those yeah. like round tubes or whatever. We will never do that. It's like a seat. I don't want to speak for you, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure like you 100% have overcome your fear. I still think you still get nervous in the water, but like you know that when people are around that you trust, it makes it a lot easier for you. I know how dangerous water is and how powerless I am mm -hmm. in water. Like if Charisma weren't there and I flipped forward in the water in Kilmarnock, that's it. I think a healthy respect is healthy. No, I think a healthy respect is healthy as well. <laughs> Hopefully that answers your question about Cole's fear of the water and how he overcame it um, or <laughs> dealt with it. Yeah, air codes, you air know. <laughs> no, seriously though, if you have any other questions about Cole's injury, how he deals with things, our relationship, or about me, I mean, you could ask questions. Yeah, about Chris was super interesting. Not really. Lots of questions to ask. Not that interesting. How did you get to be so cool? I am not cool. You're the coolest. Anyways, yeah, drop those down in the comments below and we appreciate you all. Hopefully things will like start opening up and they are, which is awesome. So we'll be yeah. able to produce so much more content and mm -hmm. do so many, so many more things together, which we were excited. We are excited about. Oh yeah, about. I got a list. Thanks for watching everyone. Yes, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and stay, stay positive. positive. Woo. Peace Yay. out. All right, let's film the next one. Yay. <laughs>